What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we have a PSA showcase episode. We are doing a pack opening. We have six packs of Unbroken Bonds, two packs of Burning Shadows. Looking for them, Charizards, as always. And then we're going to show off another card for our PSA collection. This one is a pretty legendary uh, card. I'm really excited to show this to you guys. Um, but we're going to start with a couple packs. Let's get into some of these Burning Shadow packs. And then we'll hit the PSA card and then we'll wrap up with Unbroken Bonds. Alright, let's get into our first pack. Burning Shadows. I feel like it's been a little bit since uh, we opened some Burning Shadows. Alright, let's see. We got a Simipore, Plumeria, Solrock, a Horsey, Crow Brawler, Meowth, Stuffle, a Pansage, a Venipede for our reverse, and then a Dark Rye. Not bad. I feel like we pull a lot of Dark Rye. <laughs> if you notice that pattern as well. <laughs> Alright, into a Ho-Ho pack. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're not already a sub to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button as well. Bell for notifications. And on to pack number two. While well, we did get a hollow for to get a ultra rare or better for the opening, we have a super scoop up, a Simipore, Noibat, Dupider, Tangela, a Rhyhorn, a Riolu, Gloom for the reverse, and then a regular rare Beware. Something about this Pokemon just always seems a little strange. Um, you know, we're just gonna do a couple packs of Unbroken Bonds, uh, and then we'll get into the PSA. I kind of have it at a halfway mark. Hope everyone's having a good day and enjoying their summer. Uh, hope you were able to spend some time, uh, whether it's work or school, kind of like away from that busy stuff and just enjoy some of the summer and let's see we got a right i feel like these cards are very off center look at the top and then the bottom margins all right let's see we got a rattata coming out of the hole a goldeen zubat for the reverse and then just a regular rare tangrowth so far nothing too good for this opening but uh don't worry we do have a sick psa card that one i'm pretty pretty confident about All right, this is going to be the halfway mark. We have a grass energy. Oh, I'm not sure you can hear it. There's like firecrackers outside. We got a Mullane, Frogadier, Welder, very good card, Squirtle, Rhyhorn, Rattata, Goldeen, Diglett, a Metapod for the reverse, and then a Meowstic regular rare with the Catterday attack. Okay, now for the PSA card. So, this is. When I meant Legendary, this is from Legendary Collection, and it's the big one. So, Legendary Collection, I can't remember when it came out. For some reason, I think it came out after, like, some of the Neo set. But essentially, it was a lot of stuff from, like, Base Set, Jungle, and I think Rocket. Um, and let's just go into it. Boom! It is a Reverse Charizard Legendary Collection PSA 9. So, a couple things about Legendary Collection. There was no first edition stamp. However, this was the first one with the reverse foil and they went all out. They have like this kind of like I call it like the fireworks foiling. You know, it was the only time they did that in the first reverse foil and to a point where like the reverse I feel like is what legendary collection is all about. And uh yeah, so then they have the original art Charizard but in this awesome reverse foil. Uh, so this is a PSA 9, absolutely insane. Uh, just for reference, like a PSA 10, I think the last one I checked, um, they have a pretty good website, Pokemon Price, I think it's called. The last PSA 10 one sold for like $6,500. Um, so we don't have that one, we got the nine. And I was so happy to get this card and have it in my collection. There you go, PSA 9, legendary collection, reverse Charizard awesome card um yeah if you uh let me know what your thoughts are in the comment below uh do you have any of the cards from the reverse or from legendary collection and what are your thoughts on that set i feel like it's a very unique one and that is one where the the booster packs and are like the sealed 
value is absolutely insane i feel like packs can go for an absurd amount of money uh, a booster box forget about like tens of thousands of dollars i think um i feel like it's i think it's worth more, more than jungle all right so we're getting back into the opening but yeah let me know in the comment below what your thoughts are on that psa card and we're gonna wrap up this opening we have a weeping bell we still haven't got a hit yet will this be the pack that we um get our first big hit for this opening we have a Gligar. looks like the centering is a little bit better which i'm happy to see mischievous a sand dial for the reverse and then we have whoo whimsicott all right i'm a huge fan of this card as you probably already know i do like that evolves so you can use triple acceleration energy you only need one energy and then all the energy you attach to it was just for bonus damage or not bonus because you do need uh doing 10 damage obviously won't get the job done but you slap a triple acceleration energy and you're looking at 30 this act is 30 more damage times the amount so that'll be 4 130 not bad not bad whimsicott gx very nice hit right there and we still got three more packs remaining of course i do prefer to get two hits one is like all right kind of like past the class kind of thing uh none is obviously a failure <laughs> uh a um bad opening but two is the sweet spot hitmon top such a cool uh pokemon with the hitmon chan hit one hit and run versus i don't remember the hitmon lead within the finishing combo uh very unique um kind of like mechanic which i really enjoy i do feel like the pokemon company is coming up with a lot of cool mechanics these days for example that one the blissey all the blacephalon things where it's kind of like discard from other pokemon blastoise is kind of doing his own thing these days especially with the upcoming uh new tag team featuring blastoise so yeah a lot of uh cool mechanics i'm really enjoying this um the meta game right now i think it's very exciting Obviously, tag teams changing the game in a huge way. We have a Dust Island, such a cool card to go with the boys, the mucks that uh, never really made the splash I was hoping for, but I still love that card. We have a Carvana, Togepi, Esper, Catterday again, a Stack Attacker for the reverse, Ultra Beast of Super Stereo Pokemon, and then an Arcanine. This guy, it's only a regular rare, but this card is super good, something to have teched into your fire decks. Um, Attach two energy from your discard pile, good for any kind of Blacephalon build, and then Heat Tackle, 190. That's a very useful number for how it can knock out a lot of stuff. And it being fire also is a, has some flexibility in that too. Alright, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? We only got one Ultra Rare, but I'm really happy with that Arcanine pull. But uh, yeah, better. Let's 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 uh, end it with a bang. Here we go. We got a Psychic Energy. Togetic. A Fairy Charm, Krokorok, Darumaka, a Caterpie, a Cottony, Ekans, Carvana, a Clee Fairy, and for last pack we have a Licky Licky. This thing is terrifying. <laughs> so we didn't get that last pack magic, but we did pull a Whimsicott GX with, oh, Fluffy Cotton. Forgot about that. That's like the best part of this card. Half the time you take no damage whatsoever. That's absolutely amazing. And boom, our PSA showcase, legendary collection, Charizard, reverse foil, PSA 9. Part, a prize part of my collection. Um, so that's it for today's video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support in the I Want a Turtle channel. Uh, be sure to hit that like button down below and hit that sub button if you have yet, have not yet already done so bell for notifications um and uh yeah thanks for watching i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace